more odd marks just last spring and now I'm on zucchini. Zucchini, zucchini, from odd mark to zucchini. I prayed for odd marks just last spring and now I'm on zucchini. I knew there were a lot of things to thank the Lord for making, but how was I to ever tell how long my prayer was taken? From A to Z, from Z to A, and everything between E. The sky is green, the grass is blue. The sun shines up beneath my shoes. A bird crawls low, a dog flies by. A garden hangs down from the sky. There really must be a mistake. I look for clouds and see a lake above my head. And that's not all, the autumn leaves refuse to fall. The world has really switched around. It's topsy-turvy upside down. Dear God, I love the world you made, but something's just not right today. I guess I'll go lay up in bed. Oh, right. I'm standing on my head. If you turned upside down, what kinds of things would be under your feet? Under your feet? The clouds in the sky. Clouds, air, birds, God. The silly. Thank God for making the world right side up. Unicorn. Everyone knows what a unicorn is, but no one's ever seen one. And that's because in all these years, there's never really been one. But often when I read a book about my ABCs, I get to you and you know who is staring back at me. If I ask you what starts with you, the odds are pretty high. You mention Mr. Unicorn, he's quite a famous guy. Dear God, thanks for imagination, it's fun to use my head. And thank you for making the unicorn, in case you really did. What kinds of creatures do you like to imagine? Mermaids. A unicorn? I used to have an imaginary friend that lived in my basement. A dinosaur ruiner! <laughs> imaginary friends are fun. Thank God for giving you a great imagination. Until... Until I learn to ride a bike, I guess I'll have to walk. Until I reach to turn the knob, I guess I'll have to knock. Until I learn to tie my shoes, I guess I'll keep on tripping. Until I practice on my skates, I guess I'll keep on slipping. Until I'm fast asleep, I guess I'd like to have the light. Until I have nice things to say, I'll keep my mouth shut tight. Until I try and try again, I guess I won't get better. Until my mommy says I can, we'll cross the street together. Until I grow an inch or two, I'll skip the whirly gig. Until I'm finally bigger, I'll keep wishing I were big. Until I have a million bucks, I'll save up every dime. And until then, I'll stick with God until the end of time. Is there anything you can't do now that you will be able to do when you get bigger? Hiking. Get my earth pierced. Touch the ceiling. Drive a car. Until then, remember that God loves you just the way you are. Under. Thank God for lightning. Thank God for thunder. <laughs> Thank God for a place to hide down under. Let's make a list of things that keep us safe. Traffic lights. My brother and sister. My mom and my dad. The locks on the door that keeps you safe. And God, God, God. Remember to put God on your list. Ukulele. On the island of Hawaii, they play music every day. On the tiny ukulele, and this is how they pray. Hello, ha, God, that means hello, as if you 
don't already know, I love to say hello to you each morning when the day is new. And as the day draws to an end, I get to say it once again. And here's the perfect reason why. Aloha, God, that means goodbye. Aloha, God, the whole day through, I get to start and end with you. And so I'll say aloha daily with my little ukulele. What are ways you can say hello to God? Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello. Hi, God. Hola. Um, good night. Start and end your day by sending God a happy hello. The letter U. I thank the Lord for the letter U. It is my favorite thing to do. It makes the coolest sound, the greatest sound around. No matter if it's up or down, the U is just the best in town. How do you say the letter U? Uniforms and unique unicorns in universe ukulele too. The letter U is what you use. There's another way to say the U. Another way to say the U. In uncle and in up, umpire and buttercup. Just crunch a grunt from in your gut. The letter U sounds like a uh. uh. That's how you say the letter U. 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 What words start with the letter U? United States. Umbrella. Upchuck. Thank God for everything that starts with U. People in the Bible. Abraham was born in Ur. God told him to move from there. Job lived in the land of Uz. Be as faithful as he was. Dear Uriah bravely went to the war when he was sent. Uzzah helped to carry things. He brought the ark to help the king. These are the U words that I know, for the Bible tells me so. Does your name start with the letter U? How about your friends? Do you know anyone whose name begins with U? Umbrella. If it rains, I won't get wet. If it drizzles, I don't fret. My umbrella keeps me dry from the stormy, soggy sky. If it's sunny at the pool, I can sit and keep my cool. My umbrella gives me shade on the brightest summer days. My umbrella guards me from rain and snow and sleet and sun, things that come from up above. But it can't block Jesus' love. That keeps raining down upon me, shining through me, in me, on me. I would never want to stop it. Thank you, God, for every droplet. Is there anything you can use to block out Jesus' love for you? Nope. Nothing can separate us from God's love, not even an umbrella. Welcome to another unbelievably unique episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Hello, and a welcome to In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Today we are learning about the letter U. So before I make anything, I thought it would be good to learn about some of the utensils I use here in the kitchen. Because utensils and U's start with U. Ah! What's wrong, Giuseppe? U, Gianni, U! Right, the letter U. It's the letter we're talking about today. 
Not you. You, Gianni. You snuck up on me as usual. I'm so sorry, Giuseppe. I guess I just got excited about the letter of the day. That's understandable, Gianni. You he is very good. I am? Oh, that's so, so nice for you to say, Giuseppe. Not you, Gianni. The letter U is very good. Oh, not me. You. Oh, this is going to be very confusing, Giuseppe. I can see that, Gianni. I tell you what. Let's start talking about the utensils we use in the kitchen. And maybe we'll help to clear up some of this confusion. Let's start with this utensil here. Do you know what this is called, Gianni? That, Giuseppe, is a spoon. Very good, Gianni. The spoon is the perfect tool for stirring or for serving things like soup or ice cream. How about this utensil, Gianni? Unless I am mistaken, that is a fork, Giuseppe. Right again, Gianni. The fork is used to pick up food so you don't have to use your fingers. What's that other utensil there, Giuseppe? That is a knife, Gianni. It can be used to cut or chop things up. Things like what exactly, Giuseppe? Well, it's a great for chopping up any kind of meat or vegetable. Uh, oh, you know, I really don't use the knife, so let's move on. That reminds me, Giuseppe. I used the utensils to make something special just for you. For me, Gianni, you shouldn't have. No, not for you, Giuseppe. I made it special for the letter U show. Oh, of course. <laughs> what did you make, Gianni? It's an upside down cake. Because, as you know, upside down starts with the letter U. Let me go get it, Giuseppe. What an unexpected surprise. Well, while Gianni is getting the upside down cake, let's all say a prayer to thank God for our food. Today we will pray the letter U prayer. Dear God, not many foods I chew begin with the letter U, but foods like upside down cake do, so for those foods we say thank you. Amen. Okay, Giuseppe. Here is the upside down cake. Gianni, this is not an upside down cake. This cake is a right side up. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Giuseppe. I hope I have not upset you. Don't worry, Gianni. I think I know how to fix this cake. Hold on tight. Oh, 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 Giuseppe, how did you do that? I just gave the show a little U-turn, Gianni. <laughs> what do you say we eat this upside-down cake now, eh? You said it, Giuseppe. Just let me serve it up with these utensils and... Whoops! Oh, no! The upside-down cake just fell down. I mean, up. Now we have no U-foods to eat. I can think of one you food to eat. What's that, Gianni? You! Ah! That's all the time we have for today, folks! See you next time! This has been another understandably unsettling episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Tune in next time when Giuseppe says... If I had to pick one favorite thing that God has made for me, I think I'd choose the thing that's known most universally. It's something huger than my house, more tremendous than my town. It's grander than my country, and wider than the whole world round. More sizable than the solar system, greater than the galaxy. In fact, it makes up everything that you could ever hope to see. What is this one thing that God made that I am thankful for? God made the universe, and who could ask for anything more? Can you think of anything that God did not make? God made the universe and everything in it. Let's thank God for everything. <laughs> Underwear. Dear God, has anyone thanked you for a pair of underwear before? It's not a joke, no, it sounds silly Cause everybody needs it really We thank you for our other clothes Like shirts and pants and things like those So why not say a special prayer 
for giving us our underwear. Oh, sing with me. I hold my food, our family too. All blessings are a gift from you. So thank you, God, for giving me the things I can and cannot see. And everyone who ever wore it should be proud to What is your favorite thing to wear? School clothes. My dance clothes. My B-shirt, it's a blue and white, and it has bees on it, and flowers are so cute. Anything but girly stuff. Thank God for all your clothing. That includes your underwear. Unless. Unless God promised you would come, unless dear Mary had a son, Unless you showed that God was here, unless the voice and dove appeared, unless the multitude were fed, unless the wine, unless the bread, unless the hill at Calvary, unless you died upon a tree, unless the tomb was sealed up tight, unless the Easter morning light, unless the stone was rolled away, unless you rose to life that day. There's nothing, Jesus, I could be unless your grace and love for me. Can you list some of the things that Jesus has done for you? Gave me a family he gave me. Myself. Died on the cross. Thank Jesus for all the wonderful blessings he gives us. If not for you. If not for you, I couldn't run. If not for you, I'd have no fun. If not for you, I couldn't scrub. If not for you, I'd have no tub. If not for you, I couldn't hug. Or be as snug as a bug in a rug. If not for you, I'd have no tummy. And nothing to eat that was yummy. No cups, no mugs, not even juice. If not for you, there'd be no use. There'd be no up, there'd just be down. I'm glad that you will stick around. Dear God, I don't know what I'd do. If not for you and all you do. Did you think I meant letter U? Dear God, I meant if not for you. The most amazing thing that God made is you. God loves you very much. Super duper purple submarine. I want to be under the sea in a super duper purple submarine. I'd float along and sing a song with an underwater music jamboree. The unbelievable things I've seen from in my purple submarine. A floating zoo. And garden too, filled with ultraviolet sea cucumber chum. Sea urchins hide beneath the tide. In my purple submarine, I'll have such fun. Submarine, I'll have such fun. I thank you, God, for all I see in my super duper purple submarine. If you could ride in a submarine, what would you see? Octopus, um, bluegills, or. Sea urchins, little baby fish, and dolphin, a giant squid, stingray, sharks, whales, and lots and lots of more water. Thank God for his amazing underwater creations. Is everybody ready? I said, is everybody?
everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Well, if everybody's ready, now's your chance. Get up and do the odd bar dance. Today, let's dance like an umpire. First, you sweep the base. And you take your place. Make the sign for strike. Or call time out if you like. Is the runner safe or is he out? You're an umpire, let's hear you shout! Oh yeah, it's an umpire dance! It's an umpire dance! It's an umpire dance! It's an umpire dance! Well, you took a chance and did the umpire dance! We're done, so give yourself a hand! You're out of here! <laughs> You animals. Thank you for the umber moths. Thank you for the umber moths. And also for wakaris. And also for wakaris. Thank you, God, for unows. Thank you, God, for unows. And even for the urus. And even for the urus. Thank you for umbrella birds. Thank you and also for sea urchins. And also for sea urchins. God made all these animals. God made all these animals. Of that you can be certain. Pray today for animals that start with you. A good night prayer. It's time to close your eyes And you'll have a surprise A view turns upon unicycles Right until you rise Good night, good night May angels in their flight Watch over you the whole night through Until the morning light Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Sleep tight, and don't forget to say your prayers. Nighty-night.